Welcome back. Welcome back, beautiful people. Tanika Maria here, back out here for our third installment. We've been in A Woman's Journey Home, 14 Keys to Ascending to the Next Dimension. And we have had a good time just going through this book. And I've been explaining nuggets from this book. And of course, this is my book available on Amazon. And also you can click the link in my bio or link in the notes in order to access your copy on Amazon or through my website. But I am Tanika Maria, host of the Well Centered Woman podcast, author of Get Out of That Dead End Relationship Now and A Woman's Journey Home. I'm a certified Christian life coach, and I'm all about helping high achieving women walk in wisdom, wholeness, peace, and clarity as they pivot, as they transition through life changes, dynamics, and relationships. So let's dive into, into this next segment. I won't be here before you long, but we're going to dive in. We're still in chapter two a little bit here because I want to lay a good foundation of really facing the truth. You know, we talked about the emotional house cleaning we needed to do. We talked about facing good truth about ourselves. We talked the, about the importance of coming home to ourselves and home is where the heart is. And like, we can't up level in life if we haven't dealt with the internal issues of the heart. I can't up level to my next level if I'm still showing up misaligned, out of alignment, with unresolved heart issues going on on the inside, but yet I'm trying, I'm going to the next level. No, 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 no. We need to get grounded. We need to get traction and get grounded in the truth before we can truly ascend. So last week we talked about facing the good truth. We talked about how we under celebrated our accomplishments. We talked about how we don't really sit in our achievements and really savor it and express that appreciation to God and to really like give ourselves the pat in the back. Like we look for other people to give us that add a girl and that acknowledgement. But when you've accomplished a major thing, when you've done something really big, when you've gone through a major transition, we need to reflect in that. We need to think about that and really begin to just acknowledge where we've come from and face that positive truth. But now, we got to kind of face some ugly truths. We got to face the things that are not so cute. I do. That mess hurts, right? It's like really being self-aware and like, look, like, girl, this is not, this is not reflective of who you are. And this is an area where I need to face some ugly truths and come home, right? So let's dive into this. We're in chapter two of A Woman's Journey Home. And it says, and I say here in this book, now that we have adequately faced and acknowledged the good truth, the truth of all of what God has done in our lives, the second step is to face the not so good moments. Even within this, there is goodness because on the surface, things may appear to be a failure, but may actually have been part of God's planning, positioning, and training you to prepare you to come up higher. So this is looking back within the past 12 months of your life, go through each month, go through your calendar, go through your Google calendar, go through your Outlook calendar, go through your Yahoo calendar, your cell phone calendar, and see where your energy went. The best way to see where your time and your energy went is to look at your bank account and to look at your social media and look at your pictures, the pictures you took on your phone, your social media, and your bank account. That's gonna really tell you what your real priorities are. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's right. You gotta go through your phone, your calendar, your pictures, your social media posts, your journal, and look at your life. And see, this can be scary. And see, people don't like this because it's painful and it, it could take you places where you don't wanna go, right? But yet, like we said, God desires truth in the inward parts. You can't have anything sustainable without a foundation of truth first. I cannot come up higher unless I'm operating from a place of truth. If I'm operating from a lie, if I'm operating from a delusion, if I'm operating from a place where I got my blinders on and I don't want to see what's really obvious and I keep glossing over stuff, then every effort to come up higher is going to result in self-sabotage. Glossing over, stuffing, Hiding and numbing does not make certain events go away. They just sit quietly and simmer in your subconscious and in your heart. And at the, at the right time, at the most inopportune moment, you, are, uh, you find yourself unpleasantly triggered 
by a current situation because it looked like a past situation and you wonder why you had a, such a strong emotional reaction. It is because you still have something undealt with that you're stuffing away. And so in this moment, and I'm going to wrap up this video and we'll be back out here next week because we're going to go into chapter three, but here's some questions and there's even more in this chapter and I'm just kind of skimming over it. You have to get the book to really dive deep, but really quick for each month, when you go back over your, the, your calendar, and this is a great review because we're in October and we're going, getting ready to head into 2023. So this is an excellent exercise if you are an executive, you're, you're, a, you're a leader, you're moving and grooving, you're making things happening. happen. This is an excellent exercise for you to take yourself through if you really want to be effective for the next year. Again, you cannot operate business, ministry, or calling your purpose from a place of a lie or any type of delusion. You have to start from a place of truth. So number one, I want you to ask yourself, you can write this down, go back and listen to the video, take notes. Where did the bulk of your time, your emotional, mental, spiritual, and financial energy go? When you look at each month and when you're scrolling through your phone and when you're looking at your calendar and when you're looking at the stuff you wrote in your notes and your journal and all of the stuff that you've been doing and you look at your bank account, where did the bulk of your time, your emotional, mental, and spiritual and financial energy go? The second question that you need to ask yourself is, did the people, places, and things that you invested your life into, did it increase you or decrease you? Did the people, places, and things that you invested your time, your money, and your energy, did it increase you or did it decrease you? That's a hard question, but we need to know this because you can't carry that with you for where God is taking you, right? Question number three. In looking at your activities and relationships, was it in alignment with what you believe God's purpose is for your life? In looking at your activities and all the stuff you've been doing, and you've been doing all this moving and grooving and this and that and trips and dinners and dates and activities and programs and conferences and Zooms and calls and you've been doing in this, is it in alignment with God's purpose for you? When you look and you go through the month, January, February, March, April, May, and you saw that you did that, and you were with these people, and you were on that call, and you were at this meeting, and you were in this conference, and you did this, and you took those pictures. Was it in alignment with God's purpose for your life? And lastly, number four, did the activities and people you spent time with bring you closer to home with yourself and with God's plans for you, or did it drive you further away? Question number four, the last question, and we'll wrap this up. Did the activities and people you spent time with from January until now of 2022, did it bring you closer to home with yourself and with God's plans, or did it drive you further away? Right? This is facing the ugly truth. And this is what it means to come home. And this is what it looks like when you're really, really serious about healing and order, ordering your life so that you can come up higher. This is what it takes for you to come up higher. We can't come up higher living a lie, right? And this concludes our brief excerpt of chapter two of A Woman's Journey Home. I'll be out here next week with another nugget for you. And so I want you to go back and noodle on those questions and really sit with yourself in your quiet times and evaluate and grab your copy of this book. And I'm, my copy is so warm because I have notes in it, but you can grab it on Amazon. You can click the link and grab a personally, personally signed copy from me. But let's get on this journey together. Let's really sit with ourselves and look at our lives, right? An unexamined life is not worth living. I am your host, Tanika Maria. I'll be back out here again soon. Connect with me, follow me, click the link in my bio, and let's just stay connected. Take care.